All right, so one more example here regarding inconsistent systems. And again, what we're trying to do is just determine if a system of linear equations and three variables has no solutions or if it does have a solution. And again, we're just using elimination by addition. So we've got this system of equations, x minus 4y plus 2z equals negative 2, x plus 2y minus 2z equals negative 3. And then our last equation is just x minus y equals 4. So you could write in plus 0z if you, if you want to. Uh, you know, if you actually want to see that term. So I think what I'm going to do, really, again, though, if you think about this last equation, it, it's already uh, down to two variables in the sense that it's just x and y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, uh, my first two equations, I think, and I'm going to, again, just eliminate the z from those two. <clears throat> so let's see. So we've got x minus 4y plus 2z equals negative 2. We've got x plus 2y minus 2z equals negative 3. <clears throat> and again, if we add these up immediately, we'll get 1x plus 1x, which is 2x. We've got negative 4y plus 2y, which is negative 2y. 2z uh, plus negative 2z will be 0z. And then we've got negative 2 plus negative 3, which is negative 5. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this equation that we've just found. So 2x minus 2y equals negative 5. And then I'm going to use my third equation that we had originally, which said uh, x minus y equals 4. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to eliminate one of my variables. Uh, it looks like to me we could multiply this, uh, this bottom equation, we could multiply both sides by negative 2. So negative 2 and negative 2. So let's see, I'm going to copy down my, my 2x minus 2y minus negative, or excuse me, equals negative 5, just like it was. And then our second one, if we distribute, we'll get negative 2x, we'll get negative 2 times negative y, which is positive 2y. We get 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. And well, if we add these together now, we get 0x, we'll get 0y. So we're left with 0 on the left side. We have negative 5 plus negative 8, which is negative 13. Again, we're at this place where clearly uh, you know, 0 doesn't equal negative 13. So this tells us that there is no solution to this system of equations and we say that it, it is an inconsistent we would say it's an inconsistent system of equations